welcome to Science Lab. Science are happening because Jesus is coming. Every day we are looking at some of the great science that are happening around us. Today we are going to look at some of the technological advancement in these last days. We live in a digital world filled with computers, cell phones and even fitness trackers. Human use technology for everyday conveniences by learning how to hack life. Microchipping, it's a popular way to keep track of pets. But would you microchip yourself with a swipe of your hand? It would allow you to unlock doors, turn on lights and even log on to your cell phones. It's called biohacking. A man named Chrissy Heisman has implanted with a tiny low frequency microchip. The process is called biohacking. Science fiction is now reality. Why would someone do this? Heisman says to end the hassle of carrying a security badge at the work. So I'd be swiping this thing every time I went in and you know a lot of times I'm carrying a bunch of stuff and it was really inconvenient. So with just a wave of a now bionic hand, Heisman gets her identity scanned and verified. Carlos Maldonado is chipped as well, but this implant is different. It communicates with a cell phone and other gadgets by simply touching them. I'm a pretty tech savvy person, telling me that I could pretty much get onto electronics with ease. I thought it'd be a pretty cool thing. He can use it to keep his car locked too. With wireless technology, shrinking microchipping is becoming more mainstream. But getting implanted isn't happening in a doctor's office or even at the hospital. This experience is offered to body modification clients at tattoo and piercing shops like this one. Noel Garcia is among the people performing this procedure. He says anyone can buy the implants and the syringe from DangerousThings.com. Megan is one of the growing number of people embarking on high technical upgrades. This is one thing you could do. Killers Home Entry. Amal Grabstra runs the DangerousThings.com company. He says business is booming. It costs about $75 to $150 for the implantation process depending on the type of chip and where you want it implanted. Amal has been biohacking himself for the past 10 years and today he has got two RFID chips in his hands. As the founder of Dangerous Things, he sells do-yourself hacker kits. He has sold a few thousand, he says, with interest from the US to Sweden and even up to Japan. He's using the microchip implants to open doors, open his cell phone and open the door of his car. Apart from that, he is using the implant to start even his motorcycle. mission is to push RFID from being new implantable technologies to having greater applications beyond just opening doors or storing data. He just made headlines recently in the US with a prototype of the world's first implant activated smart gun and is a huge proponent for this new technology. The name of the website itself is a sign that it is something which is not safe. The unusual pattern about today's generation is that they are very much attracted to something bizarre, unusual and satanic. Colin Cravenho has implanted microchip in both of its hands, developed in the 1950s and 60s RFID chips has been used by retailers to track packages and prevent theft. Farmers use chips to track on their livestock. Pet owners use them to identify their cats and dogs. MIT Startup Microchips has developed an implantable microchip that contains enough contraceptive to be administered daily for 16 years. The finger-like side shape to be implanted just under the skin, in the upper arm, abdomen, or in the buttocks can also be switched on or off wirelessly. 
Each month, a woman on a normal menstrual cycle typically releases a mature egg can be fertilized in a 24-hour window. Levonorgestrel is a form birth control commonly administered as a pill. It is the synthetic form of progesterone which is a natural hormone that prevents the release of egg among other functions. What we have seen so far is that some individuals here and there have on their own chip themselves. But in Soccer Club in Argentina is providing season tickets through RFID chips to their fans. An Argentine Soccer Club, Atletico Tiger Club, is providing season tickets through a chip that is implanted into a person's arm. Tiger announced its passion ticket on Twitter in April 25, 2016. The chip person can no need to stand in the queue. The scanner will read the data on the implanted chip. And if the club member is up to date on his payments, will immediately open the security turn side. And now it's time for the trivial question of the day. Now look carefully before you answer. What is the thing shown in the screen? Option A, a sound wave. Option B, a tattoo. And option C, a sound wave tattoo. We'll find out the answer after a short break. Welcome back to Science Lab. Signs are happening because Jesus is coming. Before the break, I ask you the trivial question of the day. What is the thing that you see on the screen? Option A, a sound wave. Option B, a tattoo. And option C, a sound wave tattoo. The right answer is option C, a sound wave tattoo. Imagine, instead of using a credit card to pay the things, you can use the chip in your hand. For this biohacker, this is the reality and could be the way we pay things in the future. The chip can carry different types of information. It might be to change the business credentials. It might have the medical doctor on there or it might contain something like the credit card information. So, while the credit card transaction, a person can activate and authenticate at the same time. Entrepreneur and futurist Nathan Walters has a keen interest in implant technology. He says that embracing this would make life easier and disrupt banks. So all everyone would do right now is just take the duct tape functionality in this chunky piece of mess that we call a wallet and keys and just put it inside my hand. A woman in Australia got microchip implants beneath her skin so she can make payments, log into her computer and lock her doors with the wave of her hand. Shanti Corporal from Sydney is at the center of the phenomenon after having two implants inserted under her skin. Now she uses her microchip implant to open the shutter of the parking lot of her company and she can get into work and her car without carrying a card or keys. Her ultimate goal is to completely do away with her wallet and cards. The 27-year 
Global has noticed a business opportunity and set up a distribution service called Chip My Life with her husband, Skeeve Stevens, where for just $80 to $140, people can become so-called superhumans. Hundreds of Australians are turning themselves into superhumans who can unlock doors, turn on lights, and log into the computers with the wave of just their hands. Why not us? That's the attitude here at Tree Square Market in River Falls. The software engineering company has taken the tech world by storm by offering microchip to employees. On February 25, 2019, a man volunteered to have a chip inserted under his skin live on stage at the annual Mobile World Congress event in Barcelona. Years and Years is a British television drama series which began broadcasting on BBC One in the United Kingdom on 14th May 2019 and premiered on HBO in the United States on June 21st 2019. It takes us into the future and show how the London will be in 2024. In one scene it show how making calls will change forever. Will you call me? Sorry? Will you call me? You mean telephone? Yeah? Yes. Where? Now. But you're sitting right here. This is why I wanted to have lunch. Will you just phone me? Now? <laughs> Hello, Bethany speaking. Hello. Are you phoning for Bethany? Yes. What are you doing? This is Bethany. Can you hear me? Well, you're right in front of me. But can you hear me down the phone? This is me. On the phone, I had it implanted. My hand is the phone. I can walk and talk because I'm on the phone, the phone inside my hand. I am the phone. This is what phones are going to be from now on. I have integrated. Thank you for your call. Oh my God. This, this is me. me. On the phone, I had it implanted. My hand is the phone. I can walk and talk because I'm on the phone, the phone inside my hand. I am the phone. This is what phones are going to be from now on. I have integrated. Thank you for your call. Inside my hand. I am the phone. This is what phones are going to be from now on. I have integrated. Thank you for your call. Subdermal implants. They charge themselves with motion like a self-winding watch. And it's on the 22 network. I get signal across 95% of UK mainland, 98 by next year. When I phoned you, it was ringing. You were ringing. That's the speaker. 
The Bible says in the book of Revelation chapter 13 that in the last days the Antichrist will come to this world and introduce a universal mark of the beast. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to receive the mark on their right hand or on their forehead and no one may buy or sell except the one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. So here is wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. His number is triple six. Things are happening very fast around us as we least expect it. We think that it is just a technological development. But these are the forerunners of the mark of the beast. We would have never thought that the mark of the beast would arrive in our lifetime. But like it or not, the fact is, it's right in the corner. What is foretold in the Bible is happening again in our lifetime. This technological advancement shows that we are living in the last days. The Lord Jesus Christ is coming again very soon. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't forget to tune into the Science Lab next time. Send us photos, videos, news and YouTube links which are worth sharing and also send us your feedbacks to our email address sciencelab at angeltv.org. If you have missed any of the episodes, do not worry, you can watch it again and again in our Science Lab YouTube page. But do not forget to like, share and comment on the video. Ask your friends and relatives to watch the Science Lab so that they will know that we are living in the last days. Remember, signs are happening because Jesus is coming. Maranatha.